our next operation, we have to locate the bolt holes to mount this to the uh, table saw. We also have to take out for the slides for the cross slide. Uh, on ours, our first bolt hole is at 12 inches. Next one is at 28 inches. Our cross slide is 14 and 13 sixteenths. To 15 and 9 sixteenths. Twenty-five and a half to twenty-six and three-eighths. Now I'll be making these grooves on the milling machine, but you could use just about anything: a, a torch, a hand grinder. Uh, there's lots of ways to make that notch. So let's get set up on the mill, and we'll start cutting. Okay, our bolt holes to attach to the table saw are at one foot and at 28 inches. Now, we have to go one and three sixteenths inches down The top is 14 and 13 sixteenths, 15 and 9 sixteenths. The second one is 25 and a half. To 26 and 3 eighths. And a cross slide is three quarter by three eighths deep. So what? Let's cut out a half inch of material. That will give us plenty. So the cross slide does not get its way. Okay, let's get set up in the mill. Now we're going to use the milling machine to take out the slots for the cross slides. Uh, it's a very fast, easy way of removing metal uh, if you have one of these machines. Let's get started. We'll have to do this in a couple of cuts.
And as I said, you don't need a milling machine to do this. You can do this with a hand grinder. of the cut and you can see how easy this makes it. Very clean and precise. And we're done. Okay, now we've gotten all of our holes drilled. Uh, we're going to be bolting this to uh, uh, the saw with a countersunk screw. So what we have to use a taper cutting bit or countersink to do that. Now it's time to put it on the saw. One of the next things we have to do for our saw is to put on the outfeed table. Uh, what that's going to involve is putting on these brackets right here to level the outfeed feed table. Let me zoom in on them for you. Now these are just one inch by eight inch flat steel that we drilled and tapped using a, uh, a carriage bolt and milled off the top of the head to support the wood. This, all, this works as the leveling device to level the table in to the uh, rail. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, the tabs are just steel that we've tapped and are going to weld onto the rails here. Let me see if I can get a closer picture. Now, as you can see, this is a, uh, a quarter inch carriage bolt that we've milled the top of the head off on the lathe with a jam nut underneath to keep it uh, 
tight so it doesn't move. Uh, let's go to the lathe and I'll show you how to do these. Okay, this is the carriage bolt that we're going to be using. Let's chuck that up in the lathe. And it's just a standard quarter inch carriage bolt. There's nothing special about it. If you don't have a lathe, you can do this with a belt sander or a grinder. Uh, it's a little harder to get the bolt head flat, but let me show you how we do it. We're going to feed it slow. Just take the top of it off. Never leave the key in the chuck for any reason, not just for a second. Uh, too many accidents can happen. We have to do eight of these. I've got several done already. Now let's go over to the saw and I'll show you where they're going to go. One of the next things we have to do is cut our carriage bolt. These are uh, extra long carriage bolts and we need them inch and a half long. A real easy way to do this, this is just a piece of oak that I drilled a quarter inch hole in. And I do this all the time for cutting our, uh, cutting various bolts down. Lot safer. Then next what we're going to have to do is round the end of this off where we've cut it. Uh, it's not going to go onto a nut very easily. So uh, uh, that'll be the next job we do after we cut all of these. 